Hey guys, welcome back again to the channel. So if you have followed my channel, you already know that I recently have purchased a new GPU, uh, an RTX 2070 Super. And since uh, obviously uh, I am also mining with this graphics card, I thought I should share with you guys uh, the performance of uh, this one. And let's say how you can tweak for the better this graphics card, because uh, this GPU is very tweakable and is uh, uh, very uh, very good performance in uh, performance uh, performance in hash rate because uh, it uses the latest uh, GDDR3 Samsung memory which uh, is a very good type of memory for mining especially on the Ethereum uh, on the Ethereum algorithm or ETH hash uh, so today we are going to take a look how it performs on mining uh, Ethereum. First of all, uh, as you can see here, we are on CUDA Miner and for all the people that don't know already, CUDA Miner is the easiest miner there is uh, uh, out there to mine with your home PC or your laptop or uh, whatever PC you may have and you are not an expert into mining and you just want to mine some coins then CUDA Miner is um, the choice for you so uh, if you want to know more you uh, you can uh, follow the link on the video description you can use my referral link obviously so uh, if you decide to mine with this miner then you can uh, uh, give a little uh, a little hand to me also because I will get a kickback uh, from you if you use my referral link it's very easy you just need to open an account download the CUDA miner uh, and then you just open it and it begins mining uh, for um, uh, for itself you don't need to do anything but obviously if you need to get a little bit uh, more out of your pc and your gpu uh, definitely you can do that but uh, we can do that on us on uh, another separate video and as you can see it is running right now on ethereum obviously it uh, the the performance is going to be a little bit less because uh, normally uh, with CUDA miner on default settings this uh, this GPU uh, gets like 35 uh, 36 uh, mega hashes a second but as soon as I opened uh, all of these programs as you can see in here and uh, obviously open the screen recorder then obviously the performance is going to drop so you have to uh, to consider that the, the performance is going to be a little bit higher uh, without any other apps running uh, on the PC okay so let's move on how we can get better performance um, out of this GPU obviously with the underclocking and uh, uh, and overclocking at the same time underclocking I mean uh, with the power limit we can play with the power limit because as you can see right now uh, the graphics card is taking around 150 watts uh, from uh, from the wall but we can do much much better with this GPU and I'm going to show you how so first of all let's get rid of the CUDA miner because maybe someone wants uh, to mine with Claymore miner because obviously with Claymore miner you are going to get a little bit better performance at least I did on my case uh, and I'm going to show you so let's close up CUDA miner first we close it fully close it okay so now we're good to go I have CUDA, uh, I have Claymore miner version 15 for the moment this is uh, the last, uh, the latest version. So first of all, let me uh, let me show you my string that I have for this miner. This is the string I use with miner, but obviously you can have your own string dependent on which uh, uh, mining pool you want to mine. So that will differ. If you want to know how you can do that, obviously you can check my uh, channel because I have videos about that. But if you want to know a little bit more, I can do a separate video just. Um, just for that so let's just open right away clean miner after you have downloaded obviously and see the performance that we will get on default and then we will proceed from there how we can uh, get better performance out of this gpu because as i told you this gpu is capable of more than this as you see in here 32.9 so right away as you see we can get a little bit more performance we are on the same conditions as we were with kudo miner and we are getting uh, around two mega hashes more performance out of uh, claymore miner but obviously claymore miner is more for uh, um, more uh, for professional people let's say or for people that uh, have already been mining and know what they are doing and how to set up more minor how to uh, obviously how to uh, create a new account uh, on uh, different mining pools because different mining pools requires you to 
uh, to create an account and so on and configure the miner to get to that pool and uh, enter your address and so you can get paid so let's say it's a little bit more on the professional side so this is on default settings we are around 32.9 33 mega a second obviously we have to take consideration the drop in performance since i'm recording and have opened all of these applications so let's go to the sensor so the first thing you can do obviously uh, especially for the ethereum or for the eth hash algorithm uh, algorithm mainly ethereum and ethereum classic uh we don't need performance from the gpu itself as you can see the gpu stays uh, at the maximum speed uh, allowed obviously for now uh, nine, uh, 1950 so we don't need GPU so what I like to do is go ahead and no sorry I uh, and drop the car clock to the minimum that MSI uh, allows so we click OK and as you will see from the results obviously they will drop a little bit so uh, let's wait okay 32.1 so as you can see not a major drop from the uh, from the GPU itself so uh, the eth hash uses a memory speed so we need memory speed we don't need GPU speed in this way we save a lot of power and a lot of GPU performance so as you can see now we are on the power consumption of um, 142 43 watts so we saved like 10 watts by just dropping down the GPU clock now obviously we can go a little bit further and you can uh, play with the power limits so what I recommend you to do is um, untie uh, the temp limit and the power limit, bring the temperature limit to 85 because it's fine to go to 85. Just make sure to not go further. If you want to drop it a little bit more, you can do it uh, whatever you like. But I, I like to keep it at 85, although my, uh, my GPU doesn't go above uh, 65 temp. Then what I suggest you do, you go with a power limit. Uh, with a power limit first, you can go with ten percent at a time, and then hit apply, and then wait, um, and then wait for a little bit, like one hour, two hour, uh, maybe even more, just to see if the GPU is stable with this uh, with these uh, settings. Because lowering the power limit obviously is going to lower uh, the uh, the stability of the GPU when it works at 100%. So uh, you have to keep uh, this in mind. Uh, if you, after one hour, two hours, or, or how many hours you want uh, uh, to try that, you can then drop to 80 and then, and then hit OK. So as you see, we drop a little bit further in the watts. We go to 143, 138, we hit a little bit. But uh, so you can keep going uh, like 10% at a time till 80 and then after 80 I suggest you go with 5% at a time. So for my uh, current graphics card uh, this is applicable with all GPUs that are built in the same way mainly Nvidia because uh, uh, AMD has another slider which you can use. I know uh, I already know that my card uh, can go to the minimum power limit 58 so we hit apply there and as you will see now we have 125 watts of consumption and as you can see the mining performance is not degrading we are still at 32.2 uh, 29.3 sometimes when something happens with the pc obviously so of for now we are good to go with the power limit and the gpu core clock if we are stable so again i suggest uh, for every change that you make you i suggest you uh, try the pc if it's stable for at least one hour two hours uh, maybe more it's uh, even better if you do that uh, even more if you find that the pc is stable then we can go ahead with the big guns or with the memory which is the most thing that is going to profit us in the eth hash algorithm so first of all i like to go with plus 200 megahertz at a time you hit enter then you hit apply and the, uh, the memory speed is going to go to 7000 now and you will see the hashing rate obviously go up now we are at 33.6 33.2 so we gained like 1 to 1.2 uh, mega hashes a second then obviously the same thing again wait for one hour two hours maybe more and then go a little bit further 400 and then hit apply and so on now we are at 
do let's wait a little bit because obviously i'm recording and uh 34.6 so for my special uh, for my um uh, specific uh, GPU I know that uh, mine can handle plus 100 but I suggest you go plus 200 plus 200 till plus 600 and if the uh, your PC or your GPU is stable at, at plus uh, 600 then from here I suggest you go with a hundred megahertz uh, 100 um, uh, megahertz increase uh, like ever uh, after uh, plus 600 you go plus uh, 700 hit enter hit apply and then from here go plus 100 I know that mine can do plus 1000 so just let me show you that now we are plus 1000 on the memory maybe it can go a little bit uh, further but uh, i have not tried it and i don't want to push it too much because uh really i uh, i don't think it's necessary so now you can see that we went from 32.2 uh, <clears throat> uh, we are now at 37.4 and we are again at a power consumption of 125 so the memory gives us uh, a load uh, a load uh, a lot of boosts in uh, mega hashes a second but it doesn't require too much wattage or power consumption so that's why i go on the power limit on the minimum and core clock on the min uh, on the minimum uh, obviously if your pc is not stable or gpu you can go a little bit higher with the power limit and core clock but i suggest you try all of these settings one at a time not all at the same time because when something goes wrong then you don't know if it were your memory clock or if it were your core clock, core clock or if it were the power limit clock so you have to try them uh, uh, separately uh, step by step because this way you don't risk uh, getting crashes and you don't risk uh, uh, you don't risk losing time to find out which was uh, the problem uh, with your uh, with your pc so without uh, any further ado, without any application running on the background and with these settings as you see in here, uh, my GPU can go up to 43, 43.5 uh, 43, mega hashes a second. So I guess you will get the same performance if you have uh, if you have uh, this kind of GPU. But you have to keep in into consideration that um, um, even if you have an, uh, an a GPU identical, uh, uh, identical with mine, which is um, an RTX 2070 Super Gallardo version from uh, Manly. Uh, this doesn't mean that you will get the same performance uh, as I do, because uh, if you don't know already, with every chip um, we have something called like silicon lottery, which means that every chip can perform differently. So this means that your GPU, if you have the same your GPU may perform equally to mine, may perform worse than mine, or may perform even better than mine. So this is um, a little bit of luck involved. But uh, this is the way how you can tweak out your GPU and get the most out of it. Because obviously, um, it's not a matter of just uh, mining, but it, uh, it's a matter of mining uh, efficiently. So we went from... Uh, uh, with these tweaks we went from uh, 32 mega hashes a second to 37.5 mega hashes a second and we went from 153 uh, watts uh, of power consumption from the gpu we went down to 123 25 watts of consumption so basically you can profit a little bit more with your gpu if you want to mine obviously these things applies obviously uh, to the kudo miner uh, kudo miner also obviously you will get just a little bit less performance there because uh, it's not uh, let's say like claymore which is specifically done for this uh, for this thing and it's uh, let's say the most popular and the most um, um, paying uh, uh, mining software that there is out there so uh, you have to keep this in mind but if you just want to mine then kudo miner is for you if you want to try that don't forget to use my referral link so you uh, i will get a kickback uh, also okay then so that was it for today this is how uh, a, um, how an RTX 2070 super might perform on the ETH hash, uh, ETH hash algorithm uh, because uh, not only with ethereum but with ethereum classic also and other crypto coins that uh, use the ETH hash algorithm you may expect almost the same result uh, maybe a little bit less maybe a little bit more it depends uh, on the um, uh, on the ha uh, on the mining difficulty of the particular coin that you are mining 
and obviously of uh, many other uh, things. So uh, yeah, that was it for today. Hope this uh, was uh, helpful. If you want to see performance of other hashing algorithm and other coins with this uh, uh, GPU, just let me know in the comment section and I will try to help you guys, uh, guys how you can tweak uh, this, uh, this GPU for the best for the coins that you want uh, to mine. So uh, yeah, that was it. Thank you very much for watching again, guys. And uh, as always, catch you on the next one. Bye bye.